am Amy from Doodle Dog Designs. I'm going to make a allspice heart. I've got some thin wire and some allspice and I have those soaking in a little bit of water and I've gone through them and picked out the bigger ones and put them in the water to soak and I'm going to save back the little ones for something else. So I've cut a piece of wire about 12 inches long and then I'm going to string on the allspice and if you look real close at the allspice you can see that it has a little indention on it and so that's where you want to stick the wire through. If you let them soak for a little bit the wire will go right through. If they haven't soaked and you're just trying to go through the dry ones it's very difficult to get the wire through. I have bent the edge of this wire over so my allspice does not slide off accidentally. I had a lot of trouble getting the hang of this at first but I found that if I poked it with a pin and then I held it in my left hand and kept it held so I knew where the hole was, it was much easier to then poke the wire through the hole. Okay, I've got them all strung on now. I left about an inch and a half unstrung wire at the end. And as you can see, I have a lot of allspice left. It didn't take near as many as I thought it would. I used 43. You might use more or less depending on how long your wire is and how big your allspice is. So I'm going to center it a little bit more on the wire. So I have about the same amount on either end. And then I'm going to twist the two ends together. I'm going to cut that off. Then I have some rusty wire here. I'm cutting off about five inches. When I was getting ready to attach my rusty wire, my twisted wire came apart, and, but I was able to push the allspice together and twist it back together. I'm going to use some needle nose pliers to make sure that I get it twisted good this time since it came undone. And then I'm going to fold that back in so the pokey wire is in between the allspice. And then I've got my piece of pre-rusty wire and I'm going to fold it over. Twist it together.
I'm going to put the looped wire over this wire where I attached the two ends together. I'm going to crimp it there. And then twist it. So it will stay in that spot. Now I'm going to shape it into a heart. And then I have a small strip of cheesecloth that I have coffee dyed. I'm going to tie it over all of this wire mess here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.